sometimes you really have to ask yourself how badly do I want to catch a fish? Got him! Good morning, welcome to another exciting episode of Black Creek NZ. The day started with uh, quite a bit of excitement. There's a really nice fish uh, nymphing this run over here, and I've just had another one uh, swim up the river from where I've just walked, buggered around in the water just in front of me, and gone up, terrorised that fish, and then just swam back downstream. They're all feeding. There's insects everywhere. The river is low and so crystal clear. Uh, pff, chances of hooking up? Mm, better than average, but by crikey, presentation is going to have to be on point today. You know, that, that water is still, there is no wind. There's hardly a riffle on the water to, to mask the nylon. It's going to be good times. Mm. Rightio, without further ado, that guy over there, we're going to sneak over there, throw something at him, scare him, catch him, uh, regardless, we'll, we'll give it a nudge.
every now and then on one of these trips you have to push outside of your comfort zone to get the job done so uh here we go i'm guessing this is gonna be rather deep i'm just gonna strap everything onto my pack hopefully the sand flies don't get me in the meantime i'll hold this bugger above my head oh there they go they found my back oh there's my rod smashing on the ground now from up my vantage point before the shallowest place looked like this way Sometimes you really have to ask yourself how badly do I want to catch a fish? And that water's deep. Holy shit. Back up the truck, chief. Oh, that's swimming material. Crikey Dickens. I really don't want to get all my gear too wet. Oh, I was hoping, really hoping to fish that spot. So many. Too many bloody dynamite that was cold. I wonder if I need one of these for my guts. Just breeze start to pop up a bit of an hour. I think if I had that breeze before, it might have masked that presentation a little bit better. We may even get lucky. Those still conditions are just so bloody hard to fish. Especially when you're as rough as guts as I am. Check out the state of that bugger. It's all about patience, eh? I knew sooner or later the right fly would do it. He was sitting back in those rapids, wasn't feeding, and then he uh, he pushed forward looking for some 
must have been something uh, hatching on the side and he was just cruising up. Then he stopped solid and I put a couple of drives past him and had no luck. So I threw on a rubber tailed, um, I threw on a rubber leg size 14 pheasant tail with a tungsten bead. And the plan was that I'd let the, uh, I'd let the sink and then as I drifted down past them, I'd lift it to try to do like an emerger, you know, something coming up from the bottom. And it worked. He chased it. I just waited until I saw that uh, flash of white and the gills sort of puff out. Struck it. Gee whiz, you guys saw the rest. Beaut fish. Awesome spot. Well worth coming up here, eh? Beauty. Definitely makes up for duffing those couple earlier. So, uh, must be time for a brew, and then we'll go and find some more fish. Bloody awesome. That's a good little fish. Sometimes it works out like that. Took a few casts to get him. I uh, probably should have taken him down the rapids, but oh well, it's all good fun, eh? I was going to let him go anyway. Well, I just had a four pounder swim up beside me. I'd ninjaed my way along. He must have, uh, he must have been swimming upstream. And I looked down beside me and he was right there. And then uh, he looked at me and he decided he needed to be somewhere else. And he just roared up through this run. I'm guessing he spooked everything. Bugger. Time. I'm relatively happy with how things have been going so far. I've only walked past oh, one fish. Actually, hang on, I'll correct that statement. I have only spooked one fish that I've seen. I've probably walked past quite a few fish, but I'm happy with the amount of fish I've been spotting. It's a, a bit of an improvement from what's been happening lately. I did just have a quite a nice fish uh, swim up past me. I'm not sure where he came from, he, I think he was underneath the rock and then he did a, uh, a mad dash for safety, but uh, yeah, pretty happy with how things are going so far. A little bit of a wind, just starting to pick up now, but um, that's not unusual in the afternoon. Probably got about another two hours, but another two hours I'm going to have to turn and start heading back. Now as far as cheese sandwiches go, I can confirm that dry cheese sandwiches are much better than wet cheese sandwiches. Hmm. That's, a, um, that's one to note for you uh, budding amateurs out there. Go for the dry cheese sandwich option. This dirty bloody sand fly has landed in my brew. Uh, just but he's spooked a couple of nice little fish out of some pocket water back there. Almost to the top of them. Bugger. 
it's starting to happen again. It's been a long day. I'm just starting to feel a little bit actually. <clears throat> Rightio, anywho, what we're up to. We've come up to this pool. We've swapped out the rubber leg pheasant tail for, uh, we're going to throw in a raw stimulator with a size 14 dropper on about, no, about two foot of dropper. I'm going to work the back end of the pool and I'll have a look at those rapids. The next section involves uh, some more wading. I'm starting to push our luck for time, so we're going to have to start making some serious decisions pretty soon. Let's see if we can entice something from these depths. There's bound to be a fish in there. Surely. Oh look, there's mum and her ducks. That's good. Maybe that's what we need to use for bait. Trap food. I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure what size one of those ducklings would be. Probably be about a, a size two, I suppose. Take a buddy big trout to eat a duckling. Time to nude up and go for another swim, I think. really think about putting my shirt back on. I think I'm gonna get sunburnt. I don't think I'll have to do any more waiting for the next wee bit, so let's sort that out now.
It's a good fish. Wicked. Wicked. Absolutely awesome. Beautiful fish. Awesome take. Came up, declined the dry, smashed the nymph. Good scrap. Beautiful weather. Awesome scenery. Man, it's what New Zealand backcountry fly fishing is all about, eh? That is awesome. I'm, I'm running a little bit late, so I was planning on leaving about half an hour ago, but uh, seeing a run with two good fish feeding, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to have to do some uh, smoothing when I get home, but wicked. I'm, I'm really, really excited about this summer. This summer is gonna be awesome. The, the fish in here already are in awesome condition and the cicadas haven't even come on yet. Man. Hey, uh, cheers for watching. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the end of the video. I really need to go, but there's just like one little more, one more run just up there. I'll turn the camera off, sneak up there and have a, have a quick look. If I see anything, I'll turn it back on and I'll show you guys. But anyway, hey, thanks very much for your subscriptions. Cheers for sticking by the channel. Um, I try to make it as exciting as I can, but hey, the, the, the mantra of the whole Black Creek thing is what you see is what you get. If it happens on the river, it goes on the, it goes on the camera. Some days you have good fishing, some days you snap fishing rods in half. It's all part of the fun. Anyway, I'm going to ditty mail that way, have a quick squiz, and then um, we're out of here. Cheers.